If you haven't heard of Teemu yet, you may be unaware of its growth in popularity over the past few months. Their products are now being showcased everywhere, making it hard to avoid hearing about them. I decided to set myself a challenge of a tech haul. With a £150 budget, let's just see what we can get. So after navigating Teemu's website for a good couple of hours, I was able to find some of the most popular and more demanding options. I settled for 10. Firstly, I wanted to jump on the bandwagon of a popular TikTok item. These portable washing machines have been at the height of Teemu's success, tempting many people into purchasing them. So let's add this one to the basket, it will be interesting to see how well it performs at that kind of asking price. Secondly, I thought I'd try out one of their sets of wireless headphones coming in at under £15. I'm not expecting much, but fingers crossed. I then found this unique looking bedside light which I thought for the asking price might be quite interesting. I'll add that. Now I've seen a fair few of these portable juicers on the market, but I settled for this one. At <laughs> under £10, I really don't know what to expect, but it will be interesting. There is an abundance of storage options on here and this 1TB high speed pen drive took my eye. At this asking price, well, it could be a bargain. My sixth item just had to be an Android TV box. There are so many on here, but I settled for this one, as I thought with 4GB of RAM and 32GB of storage, we might actually get a fast nifty unit. My cat is always getting out of the house, and when I saw there was a cat tracker on here for a couple of pounds, it was hard not to grab it. And that actually goes for my 8th item as well, which is another cheap tracker, which I thought would be great for a set of keys or something expensive I don't want to lose. Now these robot cleaners have been around a while now and used to cost a fortune, but this one took my eye. Not only is the asking price impressive, but it promises some great smart features with your phone. So let's see if it lives up to them. And finally, I thought I'd go for a mini ultrasonic cleaner. I thought this was quite interesting and I wanted to see its applicational value. Team, you offer a fair few of these and with an asking price like that, it's worth giving it a go. So there we go. Now the prices of the items fluctuate quite a bit, so the prices may differ when you see this, but the ballpark sum is about the same. It is worth noting there are a ton of benefits and welcome gifts for newcomers. If you download the Teemu app from the link below in the description, you can get $100 worth of coupons completely free. Or if you already have it, you can enter the code below into the Teemu app to claim these coupons too. With those amount of coupons and possible savings, even with those very low asking prices already, it will be interesting to see what kind of bargains you get. So let me know below. Now let's skip to delivery day. So here we are, everything took around just under a week to come and I can't lie, it looks quite exciting to see everything all together. It's all dispatched in these Teemu mail bags and to be honest, look quite appealing. After unwrapping these, I got to see all the 10 items in their glory. So with everything here, let's begin with the most popular trending item, the portable washing machine. Is it any good? Well, let's find out. I will start by saying don't expect too much in terms of high quality unboxing experiences from any of these items. I guess to keep the costs low, they go for pretty basic packaging. So with this washing machine, we really only get a basic manual and power cable. However, despite a limited unboxing experience, there does come an out of the box usage. I was really surprised at just how easy this was to operate. Granted, its small size is going to limit you on how you utilize this, but I can't deny that it is super handy for those odd occasions when you need a shirt washing but don't want to have to put on a full load. Its portable design collapses in on itself so that it doesn't take up too much storage space. You can easily pull it apart and have it ready for use in practically any location within your home. Surprisingly, the construction is quite good and as long as you look after it, I'm sure it will last a while. In terms of operating this thing, it is very easy to use and navigate the controls. 
It has suction cups on the bottom that ensure it sticks to a table surface well when in operation. You can place around two to three medium sized shirts in here, then all we need to do is add a sufficient amount of water along with some detergent. And that's it. On the front we will find all of our basic controls, there is only one button, hold for a couple of seconds to turn on, and then we have a choice between three modes. The first is a 10 minute cycle, pressing again will activate a 15 minute cycle, and finally the last one will do a generic spin. I'm actually shocked at how well this works. And the craze around it is certainly supported. When the cycle is done I can drain it using the basic plug on the side, and once drained I can begin a spin cycle to get rid of excess water. It's a very simple device, but it just offers portability and energy efficiency for those one-off washes where we desperately need it. So the Team U washing machine for me gets a massive thumbs up, especially for that low ask in price. Moving on to the wireless headphones and I'm not sure really what I was expecting here. Over the years I've had my fair share of cheap wireless headphones. Most of them just don't last 5 minutes or the audio is beyond terrible. The build quality with these is pretty basic, nothing special, it does have a unique modern look to it at first glances, but it is very plasticky and lightweight in hand, indicating the use of cheap materials. Despite the build quality not living up to par, I actually can't deny that they are rather comfortable on the head. They have a decent amount of cushioning and they fit my bulbous head quite well. In terms of audio quality, well, I've actually heard worse from a lot dearer, put it that way. The sound quality is not bad, especially at this price point. I've heard worse, trust me. For general use and to the untrained ear, I think this would be perfect for people that just want a basic audio feedback, or casual music, or editorial work. They do have the added benefit of having a built-in SD card slot, so you could essentially place music onto the card and play it direct through the headphones interface, without the need of a Bluetooth device. We also do have FM radio, which actually is surprisingly quite good. I don't currently have a radio, around the house, but sometimes when the same songs get boring, having a radio to hand is quite nice, especially a portable one like this. Would I recommend them? Well, for the price, it's hard not to, to be honest. If you're realistic about your expectations, I think they might pleasantly surprise you. Now on to the Quartz Bedside Light. It's operated via a USB cable which is supplied in the box. It is a lot smaller than I expected, but its overall look it gives off is certainly very unique, and it is something I haven't seen readily available online. I actually don't have anything negative to say about this. Although there's no option to customise the colour or intensity, the default look is sufficient for creating ambient lighting in any room. In fact, it can become a beautiful focal point that draws a lot of attention to visitors. Although it's smaller than my preference for a light, I think this would be a great option for a unique bedside or coffee table option. It isn't intended on being something to light a whole room for visual improvement, but it's still bright enough to provide sufficient light for reading a book, or simply be used as a nightlight. Mm, it's not bad. Now a portable juicer under £10 is quite impressive, but there are a few factors that might make it fall short on its promise of being an affordable worthy option. That being blending power and longevity. Now although I can't comment on its longevity just yet, I can certainly tell you its blending performance. It's um, it's okay. It's not amazing by any means and you will need to be careful about overloading it, but for general smoothie making with fruit, milk, protein powders and more, this thing is more than sufficient to provide a smooth blend. If you were to put ice or frozen fruit in here, you will notice the motor struggling or simply providing no feedback at all. It's really only big enough for one half pint glass of juice, but then again, isn't that to be expected? The cable provided doesn't have a lot of length to it and doesn't have a plug, but being micro USB, these are more than readily available. Would I recommend this one? Um, like most of these things, it does the job efficiently. That's more than we can ask for from something in this price range. Granted, this one is going to struggle with harder content and won't produce large volumes of juice, but it does blend soft fruit, cocktails and basic drinks pretty well. So yeah, in terms of being a bargain, go for it. Just keep in mind those limitations. 
A one terabyte memory card for little under £15 is once again pretty impressive. However, it could just be storage without the power to make it useful. The design of it looks quite good and to be honest it feels nice in the hand, but let's cut to the chase and jump on the computer and see just how powerful it really is. So I performed a Blackmagic disk speed test on the pen drive and as you can see the speeds aren't great. But it is a standard USB for sure and won't be useful for high speed usage, however for generic generic storage and a temporary option with well over one terabyte worth of storage, at least it works. Recommending this one may be hard due to technology improving all the time and the cost of high speed pen drives being reasonable full stop. I still can't dispute the fact that this is very cheap for this amount of storage. If you're not too bothered about the speeds at which you can actually work with it, then it's worthwhile. Now on to the Android TV box and I got quite excited about this one. There are many options on the market but TeamU has an abundance of them for steel prices. I went with this one which is called a Transspeed Android box. It's supposed to have dual Wi-Fi, quad core processing power and support for 8K and 4K content. I did go for the 4GB and 32GB storage option. This was just purely because I felt it might have been the most reliable option available there. What's great about these is it's pretty much plug and play. Play. You just have to hook it up to a HDMI port on your TV and follow the instructions to set up. Once connected to a Wi-Fi signal, you have the freedom to explore a whole range of apps and streaming platforms. Netflix just works straight out of the gate, which actually, believe it or not, a lot of these Android TV boxes don't have. You can glide through YouTube with ease and for those more savvy amongst us, you do have Kodi that's factory installed. Here you can add servers and much more. I was actually quite surprised at how well this unit performed. It is surprisingly fast and offers lag-free feedback and content online. The Android TV box seems to be able to cope with most of the tasks you throw at it. So for me this is a really easy recommendation, it works like a charm and delivers some impressive quality content. These are a great option for those with older TVs that aren't smart enabled, because with this affordable investment you maximise your TV to its full potential. I highly recommend this one. So at 7 and 8 these are the cat and key trackers. Firstly the cat option. It's a little bigger than I thought it was going to be, not exactly a great size for a cat, it's probably more for medium sized dogs. It's just slightly too bulky for my cat, it gets in his way and he just doesn't really like it. But if I look past this I can see that this could be used for an abundance of things, not just animals. You could use it with a set of keys, laptop or any expensive gadgets you just want to keep track of. The other key tracker is somewhat flatter but once again a reasonable size that won't go unnoticed. These both work with their respective apps. You just simply pair them together and you can actively get a live feed sent straight to your phone. Now this will obviously give you increased peace of mind, especially if you're someone who constantly loses their keys or has a pet that likely wanders off a lot. These are just such an inexpensive option to keep track of everything. These ultrasonic item washing cleaners are quite interesting. The technology is pretty basic, but it does provide gentle vibrations that slowly remove debris and dirt from a whole range of things like glasses, jewellery, makeup brushes and so much more. If you add some cleaning solution, it is a simple and efficient way of cleaning things. I actually like to use these with my earrings. When I swap them out for another pair, I can simply pop these in and begin a cycle with some detergent. It does a good job and it gets into spaces you just simply couldn't do with your hands. Plus with it all it's minimum effort and minimum cost. I just tend to leave it on for a couple of hours as it barely produces any noise so I just leave it to do its thing and forget about it. It's just an inexpensive way of cleaning so many different items. So yeah for the price easy easy gadget to get along with. It does the job and it's very cheap. Finally, this one really had me excited, a smart robot vacuum cleaner for well under £40. Granted, the build quality isn't anything spectacular, but it does look quite cool. To add to that, battery life isn't great, I won't deny that too. At under 90 minutes, it may not be something you could rely on for hoovering an entire room, but I really don't think that's the intention here. Within the app, you can set the robot to work for an hour increments and control everything within there. Now, the suction is 
isn't great, it's not going to pick up heavy items, but general waste and debris like dirt, specks of mud, and basic cat hair, it does an okay job. It's more of just having the luxury of your own robot cleaner that's quite appealing. So if you can justify it, I think it's probably a good investment. As long as you keep in mind, it's not going to clean your house entirely. So that's all the products. Most of them were pretty good, I won't lie. I think when you buy from Teemu, if you keep into consideration the price and what you should be receiving, you won't be disappointed. So in my opinion, Teemu is pretty impressive. Those items at those kind of affordable prices, well, they're not too bad. They all seem to deliver on their promises. Do make sure you download the app or use the code in the link in the description to get over $100 worth of discounts. As always, till next time.